the formidable robot. Ho ho ho! Miracle on Evergreen Terrace is the 10th episode of Season 9 in The Simpsons. In this episode, people throughout Springfield open their hearts and wallets after Bart accidentally burns the family's Christmas presents with his new fire truck and claims they were stolen by a burglar, but when the truth is alas revealed, the Simpsons find themselves pariahs. It was the holiday season of 2009, and I was at Walmart buying stuff for my friends and donation to Toys for Tots. After I finished shopping, I went on the computer, browsing this online forum when I discovered a post about a rare VHS tape of The Simpsons. Curious, I clicked on the link, and it was an eBay auction. The title of the item said, The Simpsons Christmas, 1998 rare VHS, good condition. And it was a VHS tape of The Simpsons Christmas Special, which contained, Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire, which is the first episode to air, except that it had a red label with white text saying, plus two bonus episodes. On the back, it said that the two bonus episodes were, Marge Be Not Proud, and, Miracle on Evergreen Terrace. It was for $20, I won't give the seller's username for reasons below. At the time the VHS came, I removed the cover and checked if the tape is at the beginning. It was, so I put the VHS in my VCR. By the way, I made popcorn, ordered a pizza from Domino's, and had a cold bottle of Coke to go with it. There was no warning screen, nor there weren't any previews in the start, it went straight to the Fox Video logo. The first two Christmas episodes played, with the Simpsons short, Simpsons Xmas, in between. I watched the episode as I ate my food, and drank my drink. When the second episode ended, a few Christmas-themed commercials from the past aired. One of them was the famous Hershey's Kisses commercial where the kisses play We Wish You a Merry Christmas. The third and last episode in the tape, Miracle on Evergreen Terrace, began playing. Everything seemed normal in this episode, until the part where Bart goes to the bathroom after waking up from his dream. He opens his gift from Santa, the Inferno Buster 3000. While using the remote to control it, he ends up squirting water at the socket with electrical wires, causing the truck to be set on fire. Not to mention that it is realistic as well. The truck gets another socket with wires that spreads fire to the basement, causing an explosion, and making the house completely on fire, with lots of smoke on the ceiling, especially for the Christmas tree and other presents. Bart, becomes extremely scared at what he had done, gets himself set on fire, screaming and running around. Santa's little helper was also running away extremely scared, while Snowball too was running around, and on fire as well. They were all hollering and howling in fear for help. Homer, Marge and Lisa wake up quickly, and notice that they are in big danger. The fire makes a hole on the floor, and Bart trips over it, making him fall to the basement. I guess the fire scene from Homer the Heretic was put in that tape. Then it showed a shot of the Simpsons house on fire. This went on for two minutes while dramatic music plays. The fire was also so strong that it reached the Flanders house. During that scene, the sound of horns and a wailing siren from fire trucks played. It got louder every 10 seconds. Stock footage of the fire trucks from Homer the Heretic played, and it was the same characters from the said episode. Then, two fire trucks came on screen. While the firefighters came to put the fire down, the house was crumbling down. The Flanders ran out of their house. Maude was nowhere to be seen. They looked at the Simpsons' house, now destroyed. Santa's little helper came out of the house, who luckily survived, but is still sad about the news. Apu went inside the house to find Homer, Marge and Lisa badly injured in the fire. They were so badly injured that part of Marge's hair was burnt. Apu and the firefighters were inspecting the house, looking at all the damage Bart has done. Then, they searched for Bart until they reached the basement where they found him. When Marge entered the basement, she gasped heartbroken. It showed a photorealistic drawing of Bart's body, like in the dead Bart creepypasta. His eyes were closed, his pajamas were burnt, and he was bleeding. Snowball too was also there, and she was dead too. Marge came and found Bart, laying on the basement floor, burnt and dead. She fell to her knees, picked up Bart's body and started crying softly. Homer and Lisa began crying, and sad music begins playing in the background. 
the screen slowly fades to black, before fading to a shot of the Church of Springfield. It cuts to the interior of the church. Nearly everyone was sobbing. Homer, Marge and Lisa were crying, as they approached a coffin, with Bart in it. An image of Bart in his coffin from Bart the General is shown, redrawn photorealistically with his severe injuries. They cried on and on for the whole funeral scene. The screen slowly fades to black again, and opened with a title card saying, One week later. It showed a shot of the Simpsons house, still in ruins. It was never repaired. Everything was taken away, even their dog, Santa's little helper. Homer, Marge and Lisa were inside, skeletally thin, and sitting down on the floor. There was no sign of Maggie. In Lisa's hands was a washcloth, which was seen at the end of the episode. Lisa begins crying for a while and blows her nose with it. Eventually, Maggie came in and the family gave a group hug, while crying. Then it went to an outside shot of the house and the view zoomed out as the episode came to a close. The end credits played. It was completely silent, and seemed hand-driven. The final image was Maud's dead body, burnt and bruised like Bart, but all drawn in the hyper-realistic lifeless style. The screen went black before the tape finally stopped. I was really sad after seeing that. I threw the tape into the trash, hoping that I would never see it again. Later on Christmas Day, I got a toy, which was the Inferno Buster 3000 from that episode. The box had an image of Bart, also from the episode, and he was excited. It was from Ron Hodge, who wrote this episode as well. However, the Inferno Buster didn't come with batteries or water. I still watch the Simpsons Christmas specials, except for this one, and I also own its DVDs, but I will never forget that traumatizing alternate episode. By the way, Merry Christmas.